Okay, we're going to take again, as I mentioned, we're going to take a look at a couple of problems that help us distinguish between element versus subset. That's always the trickiest thing when it comes to dealing with sets. So our first problem here is not dealing with elements and subsets, but it's the other big piece of it, of sets, is power sets. So in your teams, let's work together and figure out what is the power set of that. Looking around the room, it appears that everybody got this. The power sets are not super complicated, but let me give you a little tip here that might help you a little bit. So what is that, 1A and B? All right. So our set originally here, 1A, B. Okay. First question, how many ultimately will, be, well, there, will there be in the final set? Eight, right? Which is why? Uh, uh, two to the two to the uh, end. Three right, and there's three elements, so two to three is eight, right? Okay, so we know that we're looking for the power set. Well, how do we denote sets? Curly braces, right? So, ooh, it's going to be a set. What do we also know? That inside of it, there's going to be eight sets, right? Whoa, can't quite do that the way I wanted to. Four, five, six, seven, uh, and eight. Okay, so we know there are going to be eight sets in there. Well, let's just figure out what they are. Well, the first one, or not the first one, but one of them will always be the empty set. So we can just leave that guy alone. Another one will always be the original set. Another one will be every single individual component by itself. And what's left will be the combinations of whatever's left. So 1 in A and 1 in B and A and B. That's it. Okay? So, you know, I mean, if that helps you to do it a little bit easier, maybe that's, that's a good tip for you. But either way, the idea is make sure you get the correct count. And there's always going to be the whole set and the empty set and then all the individual components. It's the rest of them that's a little bit trickier, You're just finding all the combinations that work together, right? Now, I saw some of you, rather than writing this, of course, you use the little null symbol. That's also valid. That's exactly the same thing, right? So looking at our answers here, there we go. Different order, but you guys got those, right? Good? All right. Next up, one more power set, I believe, and then we will get to the element versus subset. Yep, what's the power set of that? No, that is a zero. That's not the null set, that's a zero there. So this one's a little trickier because one of your elements is the empty set, right? So let's go back to our little trick here with the, the this, uh, you know, writing out the braces and everything that we looked at a minute ago. So this is this set here. And that's a zero. That looks like a null, but that's a zero. It's just the font that I'm using. Okay, that is a zero. So again, how, how big is this the power set? And by the way, I noticed some, a good thing here that I saw some of you doing this, right? Which is a proper way to notate that, right? The power set of that is equal to what, right? So we know it's going to be a set. What else do we know? There's going to be four sets in there. All, in, in other words, the power set, all of the elements are sets, right? So we're, there's going to be four elements, which happen to be sets, in the power set. Okay. We also know that one of them is the empty set, and one of them is the original set, right? Okay. What else do we know? So what's that? It's going to be a set of null. Okay, a set that contains a set null, right? That one right there. And what else? And I got an extra set of parentheses here on accident. I just copied and pasted too much. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, so again, so we have the first set is the empty set. Next is the whole original set. Next is each individual element, right? That one and the other one is this element right here. And then, notice there are no set empty braces left over to fill out. What there would be if there were more empty braces would be every combination of the, the sets, well, or the elements. Well, we've already got that because the original set is every combination, right? Does that make sense? 
All right, so let's go back here and take a look. And there we go. Though that's that is a zero there. That's not a, that looks like the, the weird looking zero, but it is a zero. Good. All right, next one. This is now set versus element here, or subset versus element. So we have let S be that set up there at the top, which I'm not going to read it out loud. I want you to be able to read that. And then determine whether each of the following items below, and each line is a new set, is an, an element of S, a subset of S, neither or both. All right, let's take a look at how to solve this one. Now, I'm going to head over to the text editor again so we can see if we can figure this out. So I'm going to go here and kind of move it over like this. Now, I'm about to do something weird. Because Notepad++ does not have a null symbol, I'm going to use zero as null, okay? Just because that's all, I don't have a choice, right? I, I mean, I could use like fancy word or something to do it. But let's just, for the moment, we're going to use zero is going to represent the null symbol. So our original set is null a and then that, right? Okay. I want to know what is the power set of that. Okay. I, and here's why I want to know. Because if I have the power set, then I immediately know what all the subsets are. Right? Because one of the things I'm asking you is, what are the su which of those are subsets? So I'm going to get the power set. And again, if it's a power set, in this case, there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. All right? One of them is going to be that. Again, that's, that's representing null, right? Which we have. It's here. Okay? We're just going to put the null there. All right? Next up, one of them will be the original set. Put that there. One of the sets will be each individual element. So that, that, and that. The last three will be all the possible ways you can combine them, which will be that and that that and that and that and that you guys see that do you agree so now for a little bit of clarity here let's put these on separate lines this is weird trying to find all these breakpoints here So missed. All right, there we go. Now remember, I'm just in Notepad here, using zero to represent null. That's pretend that's the null symbol. Okay. All right. Now that we have that, if we look over here on the slide, we can immediately tell at least which ones are subsets, because anything on that PowerPoint slide that's inside those curly braces, lines four through eleven on my Notepad, are subsets. Do you agree? All right. So the next question is, are they elements? So let's just quickly look here. Is this a subset? Yes. Yes. The A is a subset. Let me turn my little pointer on here. Or the, the brace A. That's, that is a subset, and it's right there. Okay. Is this a subset? Yes. Where is it? Line yep, line eight right there, right? Is that a subset? Yes. Yeah, it's right there, right? Is this a subset? No, that's not. Okay. Is so the first three are subsets. First three are subsets. All right. Then let's look at the fifth one here. Is that a subset? Yeah, line six right there. Okay. And then the last one is that a subset? Yeah, it's right there. So according to this, everything but the fourth one is a subset. Good? So everything but the fourth one is a subset. All right. Now let's look at the elements. 
are any of these elements, and how do I know if they're elements? I just look and see if they're in here. So is that found in there? Sure is. It's right there. Right? Is that found in there? It is not. Is that found in there? Yes. Is this found in there? Is there an element that looks like that? No. Is this an element in there? No. Is this an element in there? No. All right? We understand all that? Okay, so I wasn't keeping track of which ones are elements or subsets, but the next, the next slide will show us, okay? So the first one, originally we said everything was a subset except for number four, which is represented, but your guys' answers are right perfectly on top of where I wrote on the board. That's amazing. Uh, but the fourth one is the only one that's not a subset, and that bears out with my notation here, right? And we also decided that this is an element. We saw it right there, and sure enough, I've got it marked as an element. We decided this is not an element because nowhere in here do we see that one thing. This is an element. This is not because nowhere in there do we see that thing. Nowhere do we see this, and nowhere do we see this. Good? Okay, questions on that one? We got one more set of problems like this, and then we're going to move on to some set operations today. But it seems like you guys are starting to get the hang of what the difference between the element and the subset is. That's one of the trickiest things when you first get exposed to this stuff. So let's take a look at the fourth and final slide and we'll pause right here. I have a confession to make. This is the exact same problem you just did a minute ago. Yep, I changed the A to B and I changed the null set to the, the null set zero thing to empty um, brackets. It's exactly the same problem. So when I saw your answers on the board from the previous slide, I asked if you guys were done. You could have just left them. You would have been right. <laughs> All right. So let's, but even though that's the case, I still want to walk through this, okay? I also changed the order, right? I, I changed the order of the, the elements in this first and the S up here. But other than that, it's exactly the same problem. So here we go. I know this is a little tedious, but the more we see this, the better we are. But notice here, the null set, right? It's right there, the empty brackets. Then here's your A, it was a B there. And then here's the set that contains A, right? So we're just gonna swap that, swap that, and swap that. It's the exact same set, okay? So what's the power set of that? Well, we know it's gonna be some curly braces here. And here's a little trick I should have thought of earlier. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should have done that earlier, all right? One of them is the empty set, because it's always an empty set. One of them is the original set, right there. One of them is each individual element. That's one of the individual elements. That's an individual element. That's an individual element. One of them is a combination of each thing remaining. Empty and B, empty and the set containing B, and then B and the set containing B. There's your power set. All right, so looking again on the left over here, which ones of these are also on the right? Is that on the right? If it's the same as the previous problem, all of them but the fourth one are going to be there, right? So let's just verify that. We see this is on the right, which it's right here. We see this one is right here. We see the empty set. Whoops, <laughs> a little teeny one there is over there. This one we will not find. I don't see it over there. This one, is it there? Line five. And this one, is it there? Yep, it's line, it's right here. Notice what I did there, okay, they're backwards. Why is it, was it backwards? Well, because it depends on how you typed out the power set, but the, the order doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I apologize. Yeah, I did highlight the wrong one. Good catch. I meant to do eight here. So this one right here, eight. Okay, let's clear that out. So this one is that one. Sorry about that. Uh, but the, the point still stands that they're in a different order, right? Because order of sets doesn't matter. So we discovered here that all but the fourth one is a subset. Okay, how about elements? Well, when it comes to elements, we don't even need this notepad anymore. All we care about with elements is 
the three elements. That's an element, that's an element, and that's an element. So is that one of those three? Yep. How about this one? Nope. How about that one? Yep. It's the middle one. This one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one? Nope. Easy enough. And there we are. Okay, exact same answers as the previous one. Feel okay about that?